Hi everybody, it's Jeff. Uh, this is going to be part 8, I had to check, of the IBG gun tractor. Um, Bedford gun tractor, 135th scale. Today did not go at all how I planned it. I was going to work on the Bedford just a little bit, and then I was going to switch over and work on the Scammo a little bit. And I got to working on the Bedford, and I just stuck my head into it. And before I knew it, the day was the, almost gone. So anyway, um, I worked on the Bedford several hours today. Uh, I got a little bit of accomplished. Let me, uh, uh, let's go down the bench and I'll show you what I did, okay? This is not going to be a very long video today. I didn't record really any of it. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing so much. Anyway, I'll be right back. Thanks. Okay. Uh, I've still got to do the camouflage on the back part. But what I did was everything that is not going to be camouflaged, I've done in the olive drab. So I did the inside of that. I did the inside of this. And then I've got to add the seats and stuff to this. And I did this part, but I didn't do this because where the black is is going to be uh, the Mickey Mouse. And then also this. And this end is going to have some of the camouflage on it. Okay, I don't know what I did there. I must have banged something. I skinned it just a little bit. Anyway, no big deal. Um, here's the... Try and get you some light where you can see what's going on here. Okay, here's the floor. Painted the gear shift levers black and the floor pedals black, black and the emergency brake are all painted in black. I've still got the seats to add here. I may do a little chipping or something on the floor. I don't know. It's on its wheels. Okay, we got that. And the little hubs are in. And I did the did the exhaust. It's all painted. Okay. It all looks pretty good. On the uh, canvas top on the back, I went back over it with khaki, it thinned a whole bunch, and I lightly went over it and sprayed it and toned everything down a little bit. I think it looks a lot better. Doesn't that black doesn't just stand out? I may do the same thing with the with the actual body, just to tone it down a little bit, rather than have that stark black. But I think that looks a little bit better having that. I just a very very fine mist coat of khaki okay here's the dash I did get the gauges I painted them with my Posca pen okay I just I just painted the circles the round gauges uh, white and I may come back and uh, do a little um, dry brushing with some silver or something just to highlight things you're not really going to see much the way it sets in there. But I might do a little more detailing on that. And then these boxes for the back, I'd already painted them all in uh, olive drab. And then I realized that the, the uh, Mickey Mouse camo pattern actually goes up into the boxes on the side here. So I went ahead and I masked off and I painted the sides of everything just the side that's going to have the camouflage and I painted it all black again and then I'll put these together and I'll mask it off for the circles and then I'll go over it with the olive drab and then just the places where I have the circle masks is, will be what you'll what you'll see as camouflage so I got all that done today and I did the bottom I painted the bottom too so I got quite a bit of painting done a little bit of masking not not that difficult but it, it's coming together pretty fast um, all these boxes I got all those done and then I've got to go back and I'll do the camouflage on them the camouflage goes across you know across here and it, the pattern continues up into the boxes and on the back and on the doors and they wrap around the corner and they're on here so I wanted to leave all that the same and also the Mickey Mouse pattern 
goes up into the roof. So I left that black. So the, there'll be some, you know, Mickey Mouse pattern that'll come up into here. So it's kind of tricky to figure out what to, what to leave once I get the Mickey Mouse uh, camouflage on there, then a lot of this will be uh, olive drab, but enough of it will be, be black to see the, the pattern. I've got two seats to go in over here, and then I've got a, uh, a bench seat, and then another seat over here, and then the backs for the seats will go in there, and then there's, there's a box that will go in here. I like that. Well, anyway, it sets in there. Okay. So, that's about all I did today. It feels like I did a whole bunch. But I got all this stuff painted up and figured out my my uh, next step. As soon as the some of the uh, stuff that I painted today is dry, I'll go back and I'll start cutting circles and start working on the... Um, you know, getting the back part uh, in camouflage. And from there on, it's just mostly a matter of assembling a few things. About the only thing left that I haven't done anything with at all are the mirrors. And they're in there because they're so tiny and so fragile, I know for a fact I'd break them. Um, where is the cab here? Here's the, here's the cab. And here's the spare tire. Here's the roof for the cab. All done up. I think that would look good to go back and, and uh, spray again with the, the olive drab just to tone the black down just a little bit. Okay. But I've got to do this same type of, type of pattern on this back here. Alrighty guys, well that's about all I got done today. I, I wasn't planning on doing this many things. I was just planning on maybe like redoing these boxes and then moving on to something else. But one thing led to another, led to another. And before I knew it, it's early afternoon and I need to get my video edited and uploaded. So you guys have a great day, okay, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.